Prince Harry faces a really tough, deeply emotional reunion with Queen at Philip funeral. Prince Harry faces a deeply emotional reunion with the Queen at Prince Philip's funeral according to a royal expert. The Duke of Edinburgh's life will be commemorated on Saturday at Windsor Castle's St George's Chapel. There was an outpouring of grief after the prince died last Friday aged 99. Harry has returned to the UK and is currently self-isolating due to coronavirus rules. Following medical advice Meghan, who is heavily pregnant, will remain in California. The funeral will be the first time Harry sees many members of his family since last month's incendiary Oprah Winfrey interview. Speaking to the Herald's son Katie Nichol, Vanity Fair's royal editor, said this very short window of time will make things more difficult for Harry's relationship with the Queen. She said, I think it's a really really tough position to be in. I know they are royals and we put them on a pedestal and we almost don't see them as real people but they are real people with real lives, real emotions and real feelings. They learn to control them, they know the cameras will be on them and I think they will be giving very little away on the day itself. But I think behind closed doors it will be a deeply emotional reunion. The Sussexes were interviewed by US talk show legend Ems Winfrey for a two-hour program first broadcast by CBS last month. Meghan revealed she'd suffered from loneliness, and experienced suicidal feelings, since marrying into the royal family in 2018. The Duchess also alleged there were concerns and conversations about Archie's skin tone prior to his birth. In response Prince William said the royal family is very much not racist during a London school visit. Buckingham Palace released a statement on behalf of the Queen expressing sadness at Meghan's unhappiness. However it added some recollections may vary about the events discussed with Ms. Winfrey. Due to coronavirus restrictions only 30 mourners will be allowed into St. George's Chapel for the service. The public are being urged to stay away to avoid spreading the virus though a national minute's silence will be held at 3 p.m. Prince Philip, who married the Queen in 1947, was the longest-serving royal consort in British history. Ahead of the funeral Prince Harry released an emotional tribute to his grandfather. He said, My grandfather was a man of service, honor and great humor. He was authentically himself, with a seriously sharp wit, and could hold the attention of any room due to his charm, and also because you never knew what he might say next. He will be remembered as the longest training consort to the monarch, a decorated serviceman, a prince and a duke. But to me. Like many of you who have lost a loved one or grandparent over the pain of this past year, he was my grandpa, master of the barbecue, legend of banter, and cheeky right in the end. be remembered as the longest training consort to the monarch, a decorated serviceman, a prince and a duke. But to me, like many of you who have lost a loved one or grandparent over the pain of this past year, he was my grandpa, master of the barbecue, legend of banter, and cheeky right till the end.